Look at this Harry. Harry makes I light him up. Oh my gosh, Titan Slayer. Jeez Louise, Papa T. This Raylan is a beast. Raylan buffing the house. Oh, he Raylan in the house. I baby pushing up, trying to go after this other Titan. Harry take him down. Light him up. Morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be testing out the new buffed up Wayland, and we have a brand new giveaway for five brand new augmented skull. The green ones, they are totally, totally, totally amazing. Now I'm going to show you guys the official rules on how to enter. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon and select all. This is very important. To enter, put your pilot ID, platform, and hashtag WRWinAugScald in the comment section of any of my videos from the 14th of April until the 21st of April. Atop the screen right now is an example of what the pilot ID platform looked like. For those of you who do not know, winners will be posted in my Discord and I will include them in my community tab on YouTube or most likely in a YouTube video. Reminded that the giveaway does end on April 21st. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to copy your pilot ID so you know you've entered correctly. All right, so in the top left corner where your name is, click on that. It's going to take you to your stat screen. Right below your name is your pilot ID. All you need to do is click on that. You're going to get a prompt saying ID copy. That's how you know you've done it correctly. From there, you can post it to any of my content on YouTube from the 14th until the 21st of April. Good luck to all the participants, and thank you in advance for participating. All right, guys, we are dropping into factory map. We are going to be doing a little bit of experimentation today. Today we're testing out the Harpy with Devastator and Havocs on there. Instead of, I wanted to run the Whiteout drone, um, but I noticed that I was going down like really fast from like Bendy's as I was falling. Um, so I'm trying out the Nebula because you have that on mile damage absorber. You don't have the shield slot on the Whiteout drone. So that's the, that's the you know caveat about it. Um, it does have a lot more advantage. It has a couple more like little advantages, uh, the Whiteout drone, but this one def definitely has a couple pros too that kind of you know make it useful in different scenarios. Usually, I would use a beat drone with two times on damage damage chips and really really stack that damage boost up and really get into them. Uh, but this time, you know, I'm trying to go with the Nebula to to make it more survivable to last a little bit longer see if we can take some people out then after this we're gonna try out the new whale and i saw adrian using it on stream earlier it looked like it was a ton of fun so i had to try it out um now we're going over here to this right hand side beacon trying to land some shots and bring these guys down ooh, 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 ooh. okay 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 looking around swerving around we're gonna go into flight try to get within that 200 meters range and bop 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 yeah, I definitely, you definitely could see the difference. If you, if I was running the beak with those damage chips, uh, that guy probably would have been dead, to be honest. Um, but since we're running the nebula, we have no damage output, so it did not do us much justice in that scenario. I kind of wanted to build this as more of a brawler, so in case I got into those, you know, close range scenarios, I'd be able to survive a lot longer. But we'll see how this thing plays out. Boom, we get our first kill. All right, all right, all right. Let's hop on this beacon. Let's go into flight. Let's get a couple shots on this guy. That looks like a big juicy Fenrir right there. I want to get this Siren over there. Boom! Double kill. That's what I'm talking about. So the Siren doesn't have much HP, and we were able to whack that guy out with one single shot of our shotgun blast. Now we're going to drop this mothership on this guy to see if we can get him down a little bit more. Oh, oh, nice, nice, nice. Doing a good, good, good amount of damage to this guy. He's about to go down. One more shot. Bop. Triple kill. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, let's see. Let's see if we get into this 200-meter range, go into flight, and bop some guys from the skies. Some guys from the skies. Some guys from the sky, sky, skies. Ooh, Rampage, Rampage, Rampage. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man, but we got taken out. I wasn't paying attention. I could have hit my heel, but we got zipped down so fast, I could not even react in time. Here we are with the new and improved buffed up Wayland. So now you can walk around in your healing mode. And the update before this, it got a little buff as far as the defense points go. The one caveat with it now is instead of 100 meters healing radius, it's only 80 because you can walk while healing now. 
so it's a little a little bit different um the circle isn't as large but you get to move so you know i guess in there there is a compromise and it's all good come on baby lighten up this titan can we take him down boom we get the titan slayer jeez louise papa cheese i can't believe we did that man i cannot believe we did that all right let's see what we got over here oh man we got another titan you know what let's replenish our ammo let's wait a second let's see if we can get some shots on this guy okay we finally got his ages down he had a big healthy ages on him jeez louise papa cheese okay light him up around the corner we're gonna have to pause again let this ammo replenish that's the thing with the smoothas you have to you have to stop firing for a little bit let that thing replenish and then you can re-engage you can't just keep on firing 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 it actually has like a ramp up firing speed just like the avengers and all that oh my gosh we got the titan slayer baby a lot of people don't know that um so if you're just firing those small little spurts at the end of your magazine um, you're not going to be doing much damage at all. You want to save it up and have at least a half a magazine before you re-engage somebody to give it enough time to ramp up to that higher uh, speed and really lay some lead down the range. Speaking of laying lead down the range, we are getting lit up by some bendies right there and we get taken out quick, fast, and in a hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, baby, here we are. We are in our mirror mats. Let's try to lock down this map. This is the ultimate and boss titan. This thing locks down, secures the bag, and takes out all opposition. This thing is super lethal, super deadly, and absolutely amazing. Going up into flight, we're trying to get this Nodens. He's hiding behind that little piece of cover back there. It was working until now, but now he is getting lit up like the blazes. And boom, Titan Slayer, full Nodens down like it was nothing in a little more than a half a magazine but we are extremely danger close to their spawn right now that was an extremely greedy move to get that nodens out of there although the nodens is a very very important target to take off the battlefield um i don't think it was worth my titan i could have easily gotten him out with a siren or something like that or pretty much any other thing um i got too greedy though i should have just stayed back um lock down the area but i wanted to go for the titan slayer i want action i want to show you guys action i know you guys don't want to see me camping camping is not fun to watch it's not fun to do it's not fun at all you know me how you know how i like to do things Ooh, double kill you know how i like to do things i like to push the pace get to the action have some fun have some excitement have some entertainment and uh you know that's pretty much it this is a game it's supposed to be fun and all people have fun in different ways some people like that boring hanging in the back kind of stuff not for me oh baby we are on a rampage already this build is so nasty this thing is so crazy like the the siren bent the bendy siren is one of the strongest most op setups in the game right now it, it's crazy it really really is once you get those nuclear amplifiers buffed up and once you get those damage chips activated man you just erase whatever's in front of you regular bot tank titan whatever it makes no difference oh beyond god like baby jeez louise papa cheese oh man i wanted to go for the legend but the game ended oh if you guys haven't seen we this was the same map that we encountered that sh that hacker i posted a video yesterday i'll put a picture up in the top right corner if you guys want to go check that out appreciate you all so much i hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back